Picolombo's probe has examined Mercury's magnetic field. In June 2023, when the Papaikolombo spacecraft flew into near Mercury, mission leaders decided to test scientific instruments installed on board. During a short flight, lasting about 30 minutes, the planet's magnetic field was partially studied. The researchers saw the expected structures, but there were also a few surprises. Mercury is the smallest and closest to our star planet of the solar system. It orbits the Sun every 88 days. It has a trace atmosphere, and its surface with numerous impact craters is reminiscent the Moon. The temperature oscillates between minus 183 degrees Celsius and 427 degrees Celsius. The planet has no natural satellites. You can see it to the naked eye, but due to the proximity of the star, observations from Earth will only be traced back just before sunrise or just after sunset the Sun. Mercury, even though he has been known to mankind since its time ancient, is one of the least studied planets in the solar system and he has a few secrets from us. Scientists have been starring for years high density of the planet. Mercury has its own magnetic field, as the only one outside the Earth, a rocky planet in the solar system. Flying in 2023 the Papaikolombo spacecraft characterized some of its features. Description and results of the work appeared in the journal Communications Physics. Mercury's magnetic field is much weaker than the Earthly. Nevertheless, it creates a bubble in space, called the magnetosphere which it acts as a buffer for the continuous flow of particles ejected by the Sun as the solar wind. Because Mercury orbits so close to the Sun, wind interaction the solar with the magnetosphere and even the surface of the planet is much more intense than on Earth. Study of the dynamics of this bubble and properties the particles contained in it are one of the main objectives of the Papaikolombo mission. Sent on a journey through the European Space Agency and Japan's Aero Cosmic Exploration Agency Papaikolombo is expected to enter Mercury's orbit in 2026, using flybys of Earth, Venus, and the same Mercury, to adjust your speed and trajectory. During flights in near Mercury, scientific instruments mounted on board the probe a foretaste of what the mission could do when it reaches orbit the most the inner planet of the solar system. In addition, flights give an opportunity for exceeding measurements from the location and perspective to which there will be no direct access from orbit. June 19 last year, the spacecraft for the third time she flew near Mercury. During the flight, the researchers launched Mercury Plasma Particle installed on board the experiment MPP. It only took half an hour to create an impressive picture of the planet's magnetic landscape. These are quick flights. We cut the Mercury magnetosphere in about 30 minutes, moving from dusk to dawn and approaching the distance is only 235 kilometers from the planet's surface. We took samples of type particles, their temperature and way of moving, which allowed us to clearly to outline a magnetic landscape, said Lena Hadi, former ESA researcher currently associated with the Paris Observatory. Combination of Papaikolombo measurements with computer modeling to determine the origin of the detected particles based on their movement it allowed Hadid and her collaborators to sketch various features encountered in the magnetosphere. We noticed the expected structures such as the boundary between the freely flowing solar wind and the magnetosphere, as well as the horrigial acarating plasma coat an area of a hotter, denser overestimated electrically gas that flows like a tail in the opposite direction to the Sunday. But but there were also a few surprises, Hadid explained. We detected the so-called low-width boundary layer geographical defined by the turbulent plasma area at the edge the magnetospheres and here we have observed particles with a much wider range energy than we've ever seen on Mercury before. It was possible in large extent thanks to the sensitivity of equipment designed specifically for complex the environment of Mercury. The Picolombo will be able to determine the composition of ions Mercury's magnetospheres in more detail than ever, she said. Dominique Delcourt, 
co-author of the publication. We also observed energetic hot ions in near the equatorial plane and at low latitudes trapped in the magnetosphere and we think the only way to explain it is a ring current, partial, or total, Hadid added. Ring current is the movement of electrically charged particles trapped in the magnetosphere. The Earth has a well-known ring current tens of thousands of miles from its surface. It is not clear ways on mercury particles may remain trapped within a radius hundreds of miles from the planet. Hadid and her colleagues have also observed direct interaction of the spacecraft with the plasma surrounding it. When the probe is heated by the sun, it cannot detect colder, heavy ions, because the ship itself is electrically charged and repels it. But when the probe moves through the shadow of the planet, a sea of cold ions becomes visible the plasma. For example, a spacecraft detected ions of oxygen, sodium, and potassium, which they were probably ejected from the surface of the planet as a result of impacts micrometeorites or as a result of interactions with the solar wind. Pi Colombo's mission is the third mission to Mercury and the first one that NASA is not implemented. The mission was originally scheduled to start in July 2014 of the year. However, due to delays related to technical issues and in them the successive results of the selection of the appropriate flight trajectory, the launch of Papai Colombo has been postponed several times. The probe consists of a main module and two orbiters. The first one, the Mercury Planetary Orbiter MPO, is to study the planet. There is a built on behalf of ESA, it contains 11 scientific instruments. The second Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter MFO, is to be used to study the magnetosphere its Mercury. It was built by engineers from JAXA. Main module called Transfer Module Mercury Transfer The module, MTM, for which ESA is responsible as the core part a ship to which both orbiters are attached for the time of flight. Because of the budget restrictions were abandoned from the lander that the Russians were supposed to build. Polish scientists also have their participation in the mission. In the work on one of the components of the MERTIS infrared spectrometer subsystem, Mercury radiometer and thermal infrared imaging spectrometer, which will be used for creating a map of surface mineralogy, researchers from the center were involved space research pop. Our scientists worked on a designation system direction of measurement. Its setting depends on what the spectrometer loop. Mission to explore structure, topography, and the geology of Mercury. It will also examine the dynamics and composition of the exosphere and will analyze the structure and dynamics of the planet's magnetic field. Orbiters will also look for water ice that she reported the messenger. But why the ice on Mercury? So close to the Sun? Well, the small the severity of Mercury's rotation axis causes the Sun's rays never to they reach inside the impact craters that are located at the poles the planets. There may also be ice deposits. There are extreme conditions in Mercury. Japan the orbiter will rotate around its axis 15 times per minute to avoid grillings. In turn, the European machine was wrapped in a special a multi-layer blanket and has a mounted heater in case of freezing. All of it, because on one side of the planet, temperatures reach about 450 degrees Celsius, and after the second minus 180 degrees CC. The probes will move between these areas within a few minutes and all the instruments must to act. The mission is expected to last two years from the moment of arrival, for the place. Although, as with many missions, its duration may be extended depending on the technical condition of the equipment. After the orbiters are complete it's broken down by the surface of the planet.